and then it's um, uh, they're trying to get these filters under control. So where they know the real hot spot is, and they know they've already got filters installed, they're trying to get those fixed. They're trying to do the background water quality, and they're trying to get those understood and fixed. And then they're trying to get the plume delineated. And when they get their arms, you know, eat the elephant one bite at a time, and that is their philosophy. Um, why our philosophy is a little different, we have a different type of resource available to us. Um, we are looking for the polluter for a couple of reasons. Number one, two, if we find out and we present the evidence to the state, it will help them short circuit that process and bring that polluter in sooner rather than later, which is a win for us, for you guys. That's what we want to have happen. Second, we think that it's it's important to get that polluter to come forward. I was a little flippant with the press last time, and I, I basically said we're going to find them and we're going to make them pay. Well, I'm trying to, you know, I, I represented to you all that what I want the polluter to do, because I'm of the opinion that they know they did this and they know they did it big, and they have the resources to come out and clean it up, and they should be doing that. If they had found, if they had done the right thing in 1990 when they when they first discovered that they did it, because they did it before 1990. If they had taken action then, it might not have made it to the freeway. They could have put an extraction well system in. They could have extracted it. They could have contained it. They could have used what they call the Cox Pit out here, which was a much larger area for stormwater retention. That is a stormwater retention pond, a stormwater retention area, and a direct pathway to your aquifer, folks. This piece of property right out here. That's just a fact. And your industrial neighborhood, drains into it, okay? It's not rocket scientist. I have not less than five pieces of factual evidence that point to Dallas Lumber J. Okay? But every one of us can take a walk out in that parking lot and we can look across the freeway and we can see that neighborhood. And we can stand there and we can look at the direction that plume's going. And we can turn around and we can see big white tanks with blue Slumber J letters written right on them. And then we can go to the state agencies and we can go, who uses Chrome 6 up in the industrial neighborhood? Few people. Who uses enough to pollute that much water? Well, Dallas Lumber Day. It's not rocket science, folks. It's a pretty easy line to draw. And I'm going to go out on a line and draw it. And I just did. So thank you for the question. Gentlemen over here.
talk to a lot of you here. I've been to your houses. I've been door to door. Uh, my concern is not only for my safety, my health, my water, yours also. And that's why Susie and I are out here, Don, some of the other people that are helping us behind the scenes. Harris. Uh, you know, we're trying to build a database so we can graph this. We are charting it on the map. Uh, we're going, I don't want to say behind the state, but we're trailing the state. <laughs> and we're, we're mapping it ourselves, you know. It goes back to, for me anyway, believe, not, believe nothing of what you read and half of what you see. So that's what we're doing. I'm telling you, they've done a phenomenal job, and they have contacted me, and they they have provided so much information for Bob and I. So I just wanted you to say hello. Hi, neighbors. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. <laughs> if y'all haven't seen me and Shelton or Don or Karis yet, you will see us. We're going to cover every inch of this area until we cover every one of you. Amen. There's not going to be anybody left out. That's right. <laughs> We're both going to answer that. I mean, right now, the state has stopped. And by the way, Shelton and Sissy can answer these things for you, too. If we're not readily available. Um, we're working with local council, but I want you to know they're here. They're, the state has stopped testing to the west because they're getting non-detects over there. Their focus has been this direction south with some, Shelton correctly, eastward movement. Southeast. And he, so Shelton can answer that play better than I can right now, and that's just in a nutshell, and Bob can answer it as well. For Mr. Sutton, for you and, and where you're at, they're not testing that, that direction anymore. You, you're more, from where we're at, you're more southwest. And we talked to TCEQ, and they're not going west, southwest anymore. They're going south, southeast, east, and north. Right. But I'm just letting you know what they've told us. Right. Yeah, for the, it's going to go in the phases. As we get our arms around it, we're going to expand into different areas. But I will represent that there's a pretty good, clean line. Is it 12, County Road 1206 or 1207? What's the one that, what's kind of the Western County 1206, 1207? Yeah, about 1206. About 1206. No, you're all on the same water table. Everybody down there, it's all one. There's, there's probably some channeling. What, and what channeling is, is uh, areas where water moves faster in straight lines. You know, there'll be like little tubes and then some collegiate that stops it and it goes around and does things like that. But you're all predominantly in the same, same shallow box <laughs> row. Right, we're, we're going to get it. That's, that's the kind of science that's going to take months. Okay. When I was here last time, I represented, I kind of thought that, you know, first of all, I threw a bigger net out than the state. The state takes a more conservative approach. Theirs has gone out and pretty much caught up to about where mine is. Um, I think collectively, Daniel and I talked today, it's probably going to go out even a little bit further. But what, what, what had me fooled at the last meeting, and, and the scientists changed my opinion, was I was really looking at the dairy as sort of being uh, an area that would pump a lot of water in a particular direction because they have a large water use and that that would cause a bit of a cone of depression or an area where a lot of water is being drafted and it would kind of pull the plume in that direction. Science has proven me wrong. My assumption that the dairy would cause a migration in that direction is incorrect. It is indeed flowing in a southeasterly direction. The natural flow pattern has not been interrupted that significantly to where it's flowing. It's flowing, if, if, if I were to draw a line from where I'm standing right here, to about right now 119 in Cotton Flat Road. So it's not real east. The word east 